Okay, <coughs> let's have a look on the question 11 in the SPM in the SPM MX uh, paper 2 which is which is the SPM just last year for 2000, uh, 2012 okay so this is question 11 okay this is the question for the probability distribution okay so okay let's have a look on the question okay he said in the survey carried out in the particular in the particular districts okay it is found that three out of five of families own a national car okay if 10 family were chosen at random from from the districts calculate the probability that at least eight family own a national car okay this question is quite simple okay so okay let's uh, let's write out whatever information we have first information we have is is found that three out of five family own a national car okay means three out of five okay i write three out of five of family own a national car so this one is p or q in the probability distribution so obviously this one is p so means p is the is the probability that's success okay means this one is yes and then q is no so means okay so if three out of five own a car means that the family who didn't own the car the probability will be two out of five so q is very simple just use one minus p one minus p you can get q okay you just use one minus three out of five uh, 3 over 5 you get 2 over 5 okay this is very simple and then okay after that in the part 2 okay he give you if 10 families are children so here we know n will equal to 10 because it's children from 10 family okay so uh, children at random from the district so calculate the probability that at least 8 family own a national car okay 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 first I let okay I let okay let, maybe I let x equal to the family okay who own a national car national car okay family who own a national car so now what he want is the f okay he want to calculate the probability at least eight family own a national car at least eight family means means at least means x must be more than or equal to a this is what we call at least that's that's mean the family okay means at least eight family who own a national car at least eight mean minimum is eight so 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 the x must be the x must be more than or equal to a so the maximum is 10 what so what we need to do is we have to plus at least 8 what so x equal to 8 plus x equal to 9 plus x equal to 10 this is what we call it at least 8 family who own a national car so so you say i let x equal to family who own a national car so now he say probably that at least eight family who own the national car so x must be more than or equal to eight so so i plus together eight nine and ten then i can get at least so you must know this symbol is stand for at least because at least must have the symbol of equal okay because at least okay at least mean minimum minimum is eight so we can get more than eight. So it'll be eight, nine, and ten. Okay, simple. Can understand. Then, then here you just apply in all the formula. This is very simple. So this one we call it ten C eight. Okay, and then P eight Q will be ten minus eight will be two. Okay, okay. This is just formula. Okay, then then you just put in whatever you have. So okay so now i start to put in so 10 c 9 what is p p is 3 over 5 
9 and then Q will be 2 over 5 Ooh, okay 10 minus 9 is 1 okay and then plus again 10 C 10 and then 3 over 5 10 and then Q is 2 over 5 10 minus 10 is 0 okay then okay so of course this one I also have to change so P and Q I just changed to 3 over 5 and 2 over 5 okay of course in the exam you don't do like me now because I, this one I just show you you have to write properly 3 over 5 power of 8 and 2 over 5 power of 2 and then you just press the calculator one by one or you can press everything together so 10 C okay so I press 10 C 8 multiple bracket 3 over 5 power of 8 and then multiple again 2 over 5 power of 2 so it's simple this one is 0 0.1209 plus the second one okay press 10 C9 okay 10 C9 multiple okay 3 over 5 power of 9 and then we multiply again 2 over 5 power of 1 okay so this one you got very small value 0 0.0403 the plus the last one last one 10 C 10 you got 1 okay and then this one you got 1 also whatever number power of 0 you got 1 so we just need to press 3 over 5 power of 10 3 over 5 power of 10 so this one will be okay 0 0.006 0 0.04 0 0.05 okay you just press the calculator if you don't know how to press okay you just go ahead and ask your friend and learn again it's very simple okay and then just plus all together so 0 0.1209 plus 0 0.0403 plus again 0 0.00605 okay so answer will be 0 0.1673 okay means means what means from this question what he want to find he want to find calculate the probability that at least eight family own a car means the probability is very low it's just 0 0.1673 okay okay it's simple then we go to part b okay what what they want in the part b in a school 300 students set for the test okay the mark obtained follow follows a normal distribution with the means is 56 and the standard deviation is 8 so when you see means you okay and then you see standard deviation and then in this question you should straight away know you should use the formula is you have to find z value will equal to x minus x minus mean divided by standard deviation because you're going to use this formula so on this question is given means is 56 and then standard deviation is given is 8 okay means z is what i need to change later and then he give one more information is 300 student set for the test so i know n is equal to 300 okay from from the question okay so first what he want he say find the number of students who pass the test if the passing marks is 40 so what i need to do i let x equal to okay i let x equal to mark of the student okay marks of student okay so now what he want he asked to find the number of students who pass the test uh, who pass the test if the passing mark is 40 mean first we have to find the probability that the student get the mark is passed because passing mark is 40 means the student must get must get for at least 40 okay the student must get more than or equal to 40 mark in order to pass 
Okay, you cannot get less than because your passing mark is 40 means you got 41 you already passed so the mark of student must be the mark of student must be minimum is 40 so he must be more than 40 so it can be 41 until 100 so you must be able to write out this one in order to continue calculate okay so after we calculate the probability we just multiply 300 then we can know how many students who will, uh, who will pass the tax Okay, so this one is very simple. So what I need to do is I change this one to Z. So what 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 happens if I change to Z will be Z will be bigger or equal to okay this is X okay so 40 minus 56 divided by 8. So then you will got the Z will be bigger or equal to 40 negative 16 negative 16 will be negative 2. Okay, so this is what you need to calculate. So if you do not understand, you just scratch out the graph, scratch out the diagram. Okay, let's say negative 2 is over here. Okay, Z must be bigger or equal to negative 2. Means bigger means this, this area. So you want to get the whole part. So whole part, what you need to do is you have to use 1 minus this part. Then you can get this area. You use 1 minus for z will be less than or equal to negative 2 okay so if this is z is equal to negative 2 less than mean you minus this part you can get this part okay got it if got it okay then but then in order to find the z value table we cannot have the small or equal symbol we have to change to b b b bigger symbol so in order to change to bigger symbol what we need to do is we got the formula if you want to change we just change the symbol and then and then delete the negative symbol so it will equal to z will bigger and equal to 2 it's the same thing this two is the same thing so if you do not understand about this one then i can just draw the graph for you okay let's say because negative 2 over here is same size with the 2 over here okay means what means the whole thing is over here i just use 1 minus this area i can get this area correct now because this area the size of this area and size of this area is the same so okay so i just use one minus z okay this is z equal to two so i just minus z will bigger than two means i minus this area then i can get the whole area okay if you got the idea then i can just put in so this is one minus p okay z will bigger than or equal to two then this one i just use the i just use the z Z value table, so you just find Z will bigger and equal to 2 means you find okay you just find the 2 okay 2 over here is 0 point, 0 point 0.0228 okay so it's 1 minus 0 point 0.0228 then you just press the calculator 1 minus 0 point 0.0228 Okay, then you got 0 0.9772. This is the percentage of students who pass the test. Means the student who get more than 40%. Okay, means student who get for them more than 40 marks. So what you need to do, he what, what he want? He want to find the number of students. So you just use the percentage multiple by 300. So 7. Uh, 9772 multiple 300 then you get the grosser number you should be able to get the number of students so it's 293 students okay you just multiple you will get 292 students who get okay who pass the test means in this test only got seven person who fail okay which is the this is a percentage of students who fail so means 300 students, we got 293 students who passed the test. Okay, then we quickly go to the go to the second part. Second part is very simple. He say, what he said, if 12% of students who pass the test with the grade A, so find the minimum marks to obtain A. Okay, means what? Means we calculate the probability that the student who get more than 
Okay, the mark is more than K. Okay, K is just a, a symbol I use. Mean, is maybe you get A is 80, is 70, or is 50. So we do not know we use K, but then we know the mark must be more than this. This number then only consider A. Your A is in the top. So if this K is 60, mean if you got the mark more than 60, then you got A. So you must know you have to put the more than symbol. So it's how many percent? He say is 12 percent. So 12 percent actually equal to 0 0.12. Okay, this one you should you should know. This is meaning by 12 percent. So what we need to do is first we change to Z. Okay, change to Z will be K minus mean is 56 divided by standard deviation is 8. Okay, then we equal to 0 0.12. Okay, then in order to make sure this one calculate query, I just scratch out the graph. Means, okay, more than is this area, then 0 0.12 should be this area, 0 0.12. Because this one is not more than 0 0.5, so we know impossible for this one to get negative. Okay, and then this 0 0.12, I just randomly draw. Because as long as I didn't draw uh, over this line, because over this line means more than 0 0.5 already. So 0 0.12, I just simply draw here. So means in this va z value here is k minus 56 over 8. So what we need to do is we have to find what is the value for k minus 56 over 8. Okay, so what is this? So z must be more than what value, then only we can get 0 0.12. This one is very simple. You find the z value, you find inside here. Okay, because inside here is equal to this area. Okay, so you have to find 0 0.12 over here. So it will be roughly 0 0.12. Okay, will be this one minus 10. Then you see the top here. Okay, so this is 1.175. Okay, so it will be 1.175. So this means this, the, this line is 1.175. That means this value will equal to 1.175. You solve this one, you can get K. Then I just solve this one, I can get K. So 1.175 multiple 8. And then I move the negative 56 over there, will be plus 56. I will get 65.4 mark. Means we got only got 12% of students who get more than 65.4 mark. Which is when you got more than 65.4 mark, you will got A. Therefore, what he want? He want find the minimum marks to obtain the grade A. So therefore, the minimum marks. Okay, the minimum marks to obtain grade A will be 56, 65.4. Okay, but then I think in the exam, if you write 65 only, it's still correct because you always can round off. Okay, means he asks you to find a minimum mark. So you write 65, is fine. If you write 65.4, I think it's okay also. Okay, that's all for this question 11. I think this question is not really hard. Okay, so hope you can get correct in, for this question. Thanks for watching.